Oh. Hey guys, what's up? I'm out riding on this beautiful October cold as day. <laughs> um, I have a story, or I guess a disclaimer before I start this vlog. I've been wanting to do this vlog for a very long time. Oh, sweet bikes. Chris's Cafe. I'm going to stop there and get a hot chocolate. Anyways, <laughs> I've been wanting to do this vlog for a very long time. It's uh, something very personal. Um, I'm not looking for a, a pity party or, you know, you know, look at me, look at me kind of vlog. This is just something that I figure if there's other people out there that have what I have and then maybe somehow I can, you know, say you're not alone, help you, you know, whatever. If you need a private message me or if someone stumbles across this uh, video somehow. Um, I just want to give you guys my experience. Um, so, the video is titled, uh, My Battle with Ulcerative Colitis. So I guess I'll go ahead and talk about what it is first. It is a intestinal disorder or disease. And it, it really sucks. I was diagnosed with it when I was 13 years old. Um, one summer afternoon at the, at the lake, all of a sudden, I just had to sprint to the bathroom, and I had this uh, these massive cramps in my stomach, and I, I, I started bleeding, and it was really, really bad. And uh, ever since then, um, I just I've never been normal. And uh, a little history on what ulcerative colitis is. It's a, and I'll, honestly, I don't know if I have it. That's just what I was diagnosed with. Um, I have a little different symptoms than what most people have, but basically it's it's an inflammation in the large intestine, and it causes, I think I keep Monte Cristo this way, um, it causes you, most people that have it have diarrhea, but they have flares up, flare ups, which I don't have. I basically have diarrhea constantly. I know it's kind of gross for those of you that are immature, but um, it makes it really hard. And then also, when I was younger, I had really bad bleeding, and that was the bad part of the disease. Um, I've had to have several blood transfusions because my blood count got so low that, uh, that basically I didn't have any blood in my body, and I almost died from it. I think I was 16. Or seven, I was 17 at my worst. I weighed about, a, I weighed 129 pounds. I was six foot tall, so I looked like I was just came out of the Holocaust. Um, it was really bad. I, I was bleeding every time I went to the bathroom. I was going to the bathroom like 15 times a day. Um, it was just really, really bad time in my life. And uh, I finally found some health stuff that helped me out a lot. And it basically saved my life. My uncle, my uncle came through and showed it to us. But yeah, I mean, ever since then, you know, I've just been fighting it. It, it makes it sucks because I can't really do road trips. Like right now, I'm on a road trip. I'm just kind of having faith in myself that I can make it. But you know, I rode to Austin, Texas. That was really hard. I rode to St. Louis with uh, with Yummy Air Six and and Clayton Graffiti Turtle. And they did, uh, I knew the Yummy, I told Yummy about it, but I didn't tell Clayton. I don't think he knows about it. I think he has an idea because we've ridden so much and I I had to go to the bathroom so much. I think he knew something was up. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys have seen me without my jacket, you know I'm kind of skinny. And it makes it really hard to gain weight or even to work out because, because all the nutrition, you know, is like flowing out of me so fast that even if I take like protein shakes and all kinds of stuff it just my body doesn't have enough time to uh, to absorb it if I eat you know steaks and stuff you know I'm only getting a part of the nutrition that you're supposed to be getting so when I go work out I my progress is so slow I get really disheartened you know it, it sucks but I, I have been doing pretty good um, I, I was able to gain some weight a while back. I got up to 185 pounds, 190 pounds, and I'm 6'4", so I'm still kind of skinny, but I, it's a lot better than what I was. 
and you know I had to quit sports because of it because it started in eighth grade so I, I couldn't do sports throughout uh, high school I tried uh, but it was it was bad and then what else have I, I had to give up, you know, long road trips. You know, I, I still do them. I just have to have faith in myself or, you know, make sure I stop a lot or, you know, carry extra clothes with me. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's something I have to live with, you know. I get really, honestly, <laughs> having, I've almost had this for 10 years. Wait, no, I've had it for 11 years. Yeah. So I've had this disease for 11 years and it's, it's honestly gotten so old. I've gotten really depressed over it several times. You know, it's just something I want to open up to you guys about. And if you do have this disease or Crohn's, Crohn's is another uh, form of it, but it's in the small intestine. Um, you know, if you have that, you, you know, you can message me if you're having a hard time. But. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, open up to you guys about that and let you guys know the experiences that I had. And... But one of the worst things, actually probably, besides, you know, being unhealthy, um, the worst thing about my disease is that I can't uh, do the career that I want. Uh, my dream job, I've, I've always wanted to do it. I, I went to school for it. I got a degree, but I can't do it. It just really, really sucks. I, I've gotten really depressed over that too before because I'm like, damn it, I just, I want to do it. I have, it would be so easy. I could go apply right now, but I just, I can't. Either I wouldn't pass the, uh, pass the physical exams or they just wouldn't let me do it. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, so basically I have to uh, find a career that I have to settle. And, you know, I hate that. It makes it really hard. But until they invent or they create a medicine that can cure me or, or they invent a mechanical intestine that I can replace mine with, then I'm going to have to live with it. Oh, look at that river. That's so free. <laughs> I love this place. Yeah, so basically I just have to, you know, live with it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. Um, thank you guys for letting me open up to you and, uh, I, I I love how I can trust my subscribers enough to really open up because I know that some people have really bad, you know, trolls and uh, stuff like that. And I know that won't happen with me. So I'm glad that I can do that. That guy was cool. He saw me do a wheelie and he waved at me. <laughs> Most people like get pissed. Wow. It's gorgeous. And then, this is how I kind of get through it, you know? Well, for one, I. Well, how I get through it is my amazing girlfriend. She helps me so much through it. Like when I get down or depressed about it, she really helps me. And then. I also have moments like these. You know, I can look forward to living life, you know, because I don't know what my future holds. You know, I don't know how bad my disease will get, or so I kind of have to just live life to the fullest. That's why I have my Z1000. I just decided, you know, I'm gonna live. I'm gonna be with my girlfriend. I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna live life as best I can. You know, you never know when life is gonna end, or you know. Who's gonna, when you're gonna get something that just <laughs> sucks?
Anyways, guys, I love you all, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day, week, whatever. <laughs> and I'll talk to you all later.